Well, John and his crack staff team of <laughs> investigators worked really hard on that segment, and only three stories were actually used. We didn't want all that hard work to go to waste. No, no, no. No, it'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. So John joins us with the leftovers. Yeah, guys, remember when you were a kid and you asked your mom, like, can we stop at McDonald's? And she would say, no, we have food at home. Yes. This is the new version of that. We ah, have news gotcha. at home for you right okay. now, guys. Okay. Oh. These are the leftovers. So what this is, <laughs> is these are the three best stories you did not choose. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh. So, you straight trash. <laughs> remember that one? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I remember that who title. Forget? Okay, the story behind you straight trash is this. A millionaire who founded Britain's first internet service provider says he's come up with a solution for homelessness. Peter Daw has invented something he calls <laughs> sleeping pods. Other what? people call them two trash cans stuck together. Oh my. Yeah. Daw, though, is serious about his invention. He told the Cambridge Independent he hopes his design goes global, but he may want to start smaller because when you took them to the local homeless shelter, there was nobody willing to even try to use them. I mean. And guys, Daw has an answer for critics who say, you can't put people in trash cans. See, he points out, guys, he's not the one putting them in. They're putting themselves in. Yeah. Oh, loophole. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Loophole. Okay. How, how, how lovely that the <laughs> millionaire thought that that was a good idea. This Bye. guy brought internet to the UK and thinks two trash cans. Wow. <laughs> All right, more leftovers, guys. Okay, what's it got? Uh, round Please. two of the leftovers oh. coming out of the microwave. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's hot. The real life. We actually did think about microwaving them. We didn't know how it would work. <laughs> um, real life Lion King. Do you guys remember that one? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, people around the world, guys, have been captivated by video that appears to show a baboon taking care of a lion cub in Africa. It's adorable. Tour guide Kurt Schultz took the video near Johannesburg, South Africa. You can see the baboon grooming the cub like he would one of his own babies. Oh my gosh. Schultz said he has never seen anything like this in his 20 years. People have called it a real life lion kick. Isn't it adorable? That is so yes. cool. But guys, happy endings are for Disney. And Schultz says things probably did not end well for the lion cub. <gasps> oh, John, no. no. He said baboons are very strong, freakishly strong. And they likely injured the cub when they found him and became excited or tried to, quote, play with the cub. Oh, no. And he highly doubts the lion cub survived. But Rafiki would never do that. It's but the real world, guys. Put that Sometimes back in the microwave. Say in a Disney movie, it's a real world. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need the rest of the story. You know I know. Uh, yeah. All right, who's ready for thirds? Yeah. Quick, quick. Oh, no, hurry. Quick. Cleanse our palates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had a well, guys, that. if that one was a little too harsh for you, we've got another one. This one for the single ladies. Ladies, if you think you've had a hard time finding a man out there, we know it's tough, a good man. You've got nothing on this lady. Wildlife researchers say a female wolf from Oregon left her pack two years ago looking for a mate. They tracked her as she walked to California, then Nevada. Wow. They say she went back home to her parents a few times, never with a boyfriend, <laughs> though, and had to answer why. In total, they say she walked nearly 9,000 miles. Ooh, holy cow. And this morning, we have an update on her, guys. Oh, okay. It's going to be the update like the monkey thing? Right. Researchers checked back in on her, and they found her dead. What? What? Yeah. No, John, okay. you, what is going on here? They are, though, guys, going to perform something called a necropsy to find out how she died. <laughs> I, just, I don't make, guys, this is, I don't make them up. This is the news. I can't, I'm not going to make up a happy ending for I'm you. I'm going to need therapy. How about that? You guys full now? You want any more leftovers? No, no, no. good. Yo, thank no. you, thank you, thank you very much. That's good. That's good. No, thank you. No, put put no, the rest no. of the leftovers down the garbage disposal. Yeah, we're, we're gonna order out. Post we have food at home. We have food at home. He can never pick our menu again. <laughs> that guy. That guy. Wow. Like a lot of Kings games, just stop at halftime. <laughs> 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 Way to harsh my high. <laughs> Man. Jeez. So you guys don't like leftovers, huh? Oh. Ouch. I got a heartburn from those leftovers. Heartburn, yeah. I tell you. There's mold on that one. I had, <laughs> I had a feeling that last story was going to go the way of the monkey. You did. I knew it. The other three stories, we're going to make sandwiches and you take them to school tomorrow. <laughs>